Right, we're going to have a couple more callers, and then we go to the biggest owner of them all, Rich Ritchie. For now, though, it's Luke. Luke, you are two calls away from Rich Ritchie. That must make you feel quite powerful. How exciting, how exciting that is, Matthew. Yeah, how we, what would you... Belfast, I'm coming Absolutely, to... Absolutely, yeah. I will be in Belfast, 8.30 tomorrow morning, Luke. Um, well, unfortunately, I've got, I've got to go back to Dublin this evening to work, but, um, you know, enjoy my city. It's beautiful. Oh, OK. No need but to, yeah, be, no need, actually, no it, need to it, drive all the way to Dublin just because I'm coming to <laughs> Belfast, but anyway. Um, uh, what would you like to say? But yeah, it, it actually it pains me to completely agree with pretty much most of what you've been saying so far. Um, I, I'm, I'm intrigued, though, if Voter does go for the champion chase. I, I, have it, I had it in my head following the article last year that Bundesliga would surely go straight on to the champion chase next season. Right. So the two could potentially come up against each other, the two Mullen sources, and much like last year where Ruby had to make the decision between Hurricane Fly and the machine, who I agree will smash it again this year uh, for him. It'd be fla- I'm a big Paul Townend fan, and I would just love it if Ruby somehow went for the horse that he says is pretty much the fastest horse he's ever been on over a fence in the show, and he would definitely set it up for Voteur in the champion chase. I don't think... I, I think whenever God so, or God's Own was coming at Undeso in the closing stages of just the two miles in the Oracle last year, I don't think he'd be able to see a two and a half just as well. The one thing we know is there are going to be some huge chances for someone this season. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, I just... I mean, you say potentially they could clash. I mean, I imagine Willie Mullins will do everything he can not oh, to absolutely. let Under So and Votor clash. Of the two, I mean, for me, if they were both unbeaten going to Cheltenham, it's an absolute no-brainer from Ruby Walsh's point of view. You've either got superpower Rich Ritchie to keep happy, or you've got Under So's connections, the O'Connells. <laughs> and no offence to the O'Connells, but there's only one connection of those two. That you, Now, some will say Ruby's bigger than all of them, and he will just go for the horse that he fancies. And there may be an element of truth in that, but I still feel that if they both went unbeaten to Cheltenham in the champion chase... I think he'd be on Votor. I wasn't impressed by Underso at Punchestown in the slightest. I mean, it may yeah. have been the end of a long season, but he didn't do much for me at Punchestown at all. Well, he did all he needed to do, and he looked impressive at Chelsea. You are so easily pleased, Luke. Well, no, the, the only thing I do hope is, I, I mean, after the JLT novices last year, everyone was saying, oh, I can't wait for the next Cairo star, Votor, to go and win the Gold Cup next year. And I was just going, please do not let that happen. Firstly, I don't I don't see anyone beating Don Poli, um, but I agree that uh, if the profile of the horse is similar to a kind of star, but it tends to be a much more battling, grinding horse that sees out the trip. You know, that comes off the bridle early, like synchronised or like Bobsworth. And I just don't think I think it would ruin the career basically of Voter if uh, Richie tried to put him there. But having said that, it is the main race of the week, and he's obviously never won it before. So I can see the temptation. I can see the temptation. Luke, I think you, you, voice of reason, you may be leaving your country because I'm heading towards it, but you've you've put some good points there. Line, we're going to go one more caller and then go straight to Rich. I promise Rich we do it between about 10 past and and 6.15, but we have one caller who's been waiting some time. Liam is on there. Liam, you're going to have to make a quick point. What would you like to say? Oh, it is, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just going off the subject. I don't want to say our flat base mm-hmm. subject for you. Like, but what do you think of Golden Horn's chances in the I, Breeders' Cup? I think he's an absolute certainty. I've, I'm, I'm going for the like, each way chance of uh, the pizza man. What do you reckon on that? Uh, Liam, if you're being serious, I think you've got absolutely no chance whatsoever. 